Hey you guys, what's up? How's everything going? Listen, there comes a time in our life when we are forced to do something that we may or may not want to do. Today was one of those days. I overbooked for things in my life. When I booked for these events, I thought that I would be able to handle them. But that time came where a lot of things became overwhelming for me, which meant I needed to analyze where I was and go through that thought process of where I need to be. I don't know if you guys heard me say in one of my previous posts that I was going back to school. I was going back to school for my fifth degree. On top of going back to school for my fifth degree, I had started a small business in which I am gradually building the classes for my um, degree were going to be on the selective days as I would need to be attending for my business. So I was like, okay, I got this, you know. I'm a multitasker. I do this all the time. If any of the individuals on my timeline truly, truly know me, then you know I am a great multitasker. However, in this situation, one of the things was going to require a little bit more of my attention and time than I was able to give to it. I almost had one of the most terrible breakdowns because of this. My body started to tense up. My eyesight started to get blurry. Mom, my thoughts started to run together. I didn't know if today was Tuesday, Monday, Friday, Saturday. I didn't know if it was 10 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Um, it, it became very stressful and I started to have... Um, a small tension span with what I would tolerate for others. Luckily, I have been in the counseling sector. I have encountered the human service work and I have also inherited slash learned through the psychology um, sectors. So quickly, I am able to bring myself back to where I need to be. In that moment, I had to have a coming to realization with myself. And I had to, you know, regulate to myself, self, you're doing too much. Self, you cannot be in five different places at one time and you're only one person. Self, you cannot focus on two different things and give those two different things your undivided attention. Something has to let go. So at that moment, I don't know if you guys ever heard of writing things down one side I wrote something down, which was pertaining to my degree. The other side I wrote something down that was pertaining to my small business. Whichever side weighed me down the most is the side that I had to let go because that side that was weighing me down the most was causing me the most stress it was having me to do things 
that I thought I had grown from. It was taking me back places that I had removed myself from. So if you have stayed with me throughout this message, the objective of what I'm trying to get to you is sometimes you will have to do things that you don't want to do. But at the end of the day, the things that you have chose to do need to be the most beneficial for you because you are the individual that's going to have to reap the benefits or you're going to have to regroup from where you put yourself at. If you're a lucky one, such as myself, you will be able to catch yourself before you have a deep downfall. I hope that this message helps someone and it guides you into the proper places in your life that you need to be. Have a great day.